Hey, good morning to April 18th. I uh, left my campground at 7.45 this morning, a little earlier than usual. The uh, wind blew all night long. No rain. Even had some clear skies. So it uh, wasn't cold. It was actually warm. Which was nice. It took a while to find a place to camp. Because the place is so busy, but found one. And that wind was, did not let up all night, so I kept waking up to the tent rustling around. But not too bad. I slept about the same as I usually do. Wake up every couple of hours, roll over, go back to sleep after a while. So Today's going to be a 15 miler, if all goes according to plan, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a day of multiple ups and downs. Instead of the long graduals, it looks like we're going to have a little steeper. I, uh, I've been on the trail now for about 45 minutes already. And already climbed one right off the bat so anyway other than that the, uh, there's the views off alongside the trail and we so just got to uh, this is winding stair gap nice little waterfall Nice little bridge. Don't drop the phone. Kind of interesting getting here, you gotta cross the highway and pick up the trail. Actually walk the highway a couple hundred feet. So here's something you don't see every day on top of a mountain. A nice green grassy meadow. Uh, blue blaze there that goes down to Silver Bolt Shelter. I just came up the other side here. I'm uh, there's the summit up there for Silver Bolt, which is uh, right about 5,000 feet. So, I should be heading downhill now for a while. That was a long haul. Last bit of it got steeper, but not super bad. It's just those uh, super sized steps again that somebody likes to make. So, since I passed Silverbolt Shelter, I'm about halfway. Uh, I was going 15 to the next shelter, so that now that I've passed Silver Bald, I'm only got about seven, maybe eight miles. I'll have to look it up. Going along pretty good. It's uh, still windy, still warm, and switch. We got for time for getting there. Now it's 11 o'clock, so that's not too bad for the first seven, eight miles. Oh, I'm dropping my sticks. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be bopped down pretty good. All right.
So people, those of you watching this, you've been looking at the view from Waha Paul. 5,342 feet. I'm standing on the new tower that got rebuilt after it burned down a few years ago. And let me tell you, it is a hell of a hike to get up straight up. And a little bit of down just to make you go up again. All right. I got about a mile, mile and a half to camp. Okay, here's day 10 wrap up. Uh, April 18th. Got in 14.8 uh, miles today. Left the uh, Rock Gap shelter at uh, early this morning at 7.45, which is a little earlier than I normally move, but I was awake, so I got moving. Had uh, three pretty good climbs on the mountains today. The last one, uh, Waha Bald, was a killer. That was uh, literally straight up the whole works from about 3,000 something to uh, what it, I believe is 53,000, 54,000. So it was pretty good. Uh, still managed to make good time. I got to my next shelter. Uh, at, which is uh, Waha, Waha Shelter, and uh, just down from the summit a little ways at 2.15. So, did pretty good timing. Uh, all in all, I uh, kicked back and enjoyed the afternoon and uh, cooled off in the creek and what have you. And still, uh, even though uh, getting a sponge bath, I still need a real bath. So tomorrow is uh, going to be headed into either the last, uh, it's called A. Rufus something shelter, I think, and uh, that's only a mile from Knock, so there's uh, going to be flipping a coin to see if I go all the way to Knock tomorrow or wait until in the early morning to get in, and then I'm going to shower and wash clothes so that I can uh, book out of there and get a good start on to towards Fontana uh, let's see oh the only thing else that's really changed is according to weather reports there is a good chance that we're gonna get some rain tonight which I don't like because I got my tent all set up assuming it wasn't gonna rain and all the tent sites at this spot the better ones anyway are kind of in a little um, they're on a hillside, and so water is going to run downhill. But they're only talking a tenth of an inch at most. I'm hoping the ground will soak that up and not pool under my tent. So with that, I really don't have a whole lot else to say going on. Uh, keep running into the same people here recently that uh, I first started out with. So uh, you definitely do kind of end up in little groups even though you don't actually hike with anybody it's kind of interesting so we all get to know each other a little more so anyway with that i'm uh, gonna take off for an early bed and uh, probably get an early start tomorrow so later